would really like to hear from you what, what music means to you. Music means to me. <laughs> wow, such a difficult question. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a language. It is a language that I speak. I started to play cello when I was six and it got really serious for me since when I got something like seven or eight and I don't know who it was, maybe my father he I think asked me whether I would love to, I would like to become a professional musician and then, then that felt like a Yeah, quite a heavy question. I spent a lot of time thinking about it, and then at some point, quite soon, I was uh, completely sure that it's exactly what I want to do for the rest of my life. For me, it was hard to imagine that anyone around my age, like, um, let's say, 10 or 11, won't know what they would do for the rest of their lives. I think I spent quite a lot of time in a dressing rooms behind Hertz, <laughs> preparing for Dutch classical talent and also some other projects. So yes, the place is and was very familiar. Um, I guess till the end of my study I was much more familiar with the life in Amsterdam, since everything was connected to the conservatory there. And why did you choose Amsterdam? Because of uh, Dmitry Fershman, I just really wanted to study with him. The thing is that I really liked his playing and what I heard in his uh, recordings as well made me feel like I can learn a lot from this person. <laughs> Did you start your studies in Amsterdam? Yes, I did. Well, of course I did music school and college in Moscow <laughs> before I got admitted to the conservatory. And after I finished this college, honestly, I completely forgot about the freshman and I just w was thinking I would go to Moscow conservatory and study there. When I got to the conservatory and I did some uh, tryout lessons, it just didn't feel like my place. At that moment, I was just desperately looking for my ident identity, and I played in a lot of different bands, like rock bands. I tried to compose my own music, and that was not completely supported by my cello teacher, but still, I, I did something. <laughs> so it felt at the conservatory that it would be again just following strictly this classical path, playing the repertoire that is already quite established. And my interest lay somewhere completely differently, to be honest. I was really more interested in new music and just uh, developing myself further as an yeah, artist, actually. <laughs> so then I talked to my father about it and he reminded me about Dmitry, Dmitry Fashman. You had a feeling that you could develop this identity more with him? Yeah, I think he helped me incredibly much. And also by just trusting to what I wanted to do. If I'm able to be fully present on stage, then it's something that I can immediately uh, get audience connected to me and I can feel connected to the audience. And then something I always remember before I go on stage, that the, what, whatever happens, I just have to stay present. So when you compose, how do you work? Um, it's always different. It depends on my state of mind. <laughs> I usually try to start with just improvising beginning of my practicing day and 
if I do it every day, like if I have some specific routine, then I can observe how some ideas they are crystallizing, and in the end, those ideas I try to put on paper and see what I can do with them. It can also come from just um, you know, improvising on a painting, for example, or a poetry. There is one artist that is particularly important to me, Marina Abramovic. I've been inspired by her for quite a long time now, and I've read her book, Walk Through Walls, of course in which she talks a lot about her life and her artistic process and I learned a lot just by listen, listening to her interviews and reading her thinking about her method What are your future plans? I would love to spend much more time developing my ideas further concerning rituals and researching this in a way that it become, it will grow consistently, this whole concept, and <laughs> I also have some dreams about my own festival, but I told you <laughs> about it. I know, we spoke about it, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that's a nice dream. <laughs> I, I hope we can dream on together. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> yeah.